Hello everyone and welcome back to Abundantly Minimal. I must admit today's video topic is actually not one I saw myself making. I do have a bit of a life update, channel update, and uh, perhaps some bittersweet news uh, to share today. Um, with that in mind, um, it's both ex very happy, I'm incredibly excited about it, but it does mean some big changes are in order here with the channel. Um, as many of you I'm sure know, I do run two businesses. I run Abundantly Minimal, which was the first one, and I always kind of thought that it was going to be the main one, and it was going to be, you know, it was my baby, so to speak, and it's what started, it's what took off sooner, um, especially back in 2018, 2019, and it has been truly such a rewarding experience here on YouTube and creating minimalism and decluttering related content. But I run two businesses, like I said. Uh, the other business is something I run with my husband, Jake, and it's called Mr. and Mrs. Social Studies, and we create lesson plans and activities and projects and teaching materials for secondary social studies teachers that we sell on a website called Teachers Pay Teachers. With that in mind, um, what I did not foresee happening was uh, to specifically see that business take off as much as it has. And it's been tricky because um, running two businesses has definitely been no joke. You know, as I've been working on them and as both businesses have grown, it has continued to be more and more hours or more and more intensity and the volume of work has, has increased. And it's very exciting to have businesses grow, but um, with that, as, as things grow, so, do, so does the workload. And I have found myself struggling recently to be able to keep up with both. And when I say recently, I should have been a bit more honest um, sooner. I feel like uh, for about a year, it's been a bit of a struggle and this constant like back and forth in my mind uh, between the two things. And both I love, both are different topics, but it's very meaningful, you know, to, to run both businesses and I genuinely enjoy it. Um, I would say at this point, I do enjoy the teacher business more. Um, it is probably partially because I was a teacher in the classroom for five years doing social studies, you know, creating social studies materials and teaching social studies lessons, as well as that's what my degree is in, and my master's degree is in as well. Um, so it's definitely just always been a part of me. And uh, when I went into businesses, I really had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, my reason why, which I've shared several times on the channel, is that in the future when we had kids, when Jake and I had kids, I wanted to be able to be a work at home mom and have that opportunity with them, even though you know Jake and I on our teaching salaries uh, probably wasn't gonna be able to make that work. Um, fast forward, uh, you, I've been off several years working on these full time and even though it certainly helps, there's still, the workload has continued growing uh, for, both, for both businesses. And um, I've been stunned uh, just to see how much the Mr. and Mrs. Social Studies business has grown. Uh, just in the last year alone, we grew 600%, which is insane. Um, I didn't see it coming and it has become such a joy and we've been able to support thousands of teachers um, in the process, which has been really exciting. And I feel like there's so much at stake um, in terms of how the future and how you can, how your resources can affect literally thousands of students or tens of thousands. And that's a really powerful and, and beautiful thing that I don't take lightly and means a lot. Uh, it's grown so much that it's actually not just me anymore. Um, this is the first year where Jake is actually going to be leaving his classroom teaching job and joining me full time so we can increase what we're able to accomplish. At this point, there's so many teachers who are requesting us to support them in different ways and make different resources for them that it's just tough to say we honestly are completely overbooked right now. Um, so I'm so happy he's going to be on board. And I actually also have someone who works for me part time and also have had some contract work done from someone else this summer. 
So really, like, there's been a lot kind of behind the scenes that I, I don't think I've been fully honest about um, just how this has grown. And with all of this, it's just super exciting and truly passion project. And unfortunately, Abundantly Minimal has not seen the same growth, as well as it's been tough to try to kind of force myself to scale back in ways that, are, that I can. I know the YouTube landscape has changed a lot, you know, since I started creating videos back in 2016. And I still do enjoy making videos for the channel and there's still a lot of important topics to address and, and cover. But I also find myself out of time to actually put in the effort to make, you know, better videos. My videos haven't been the best possible quality um, in the last, you know, few months and, and the results show on the channel. <laughs> the channel is only actually, you know, for new videos are only getting about one sixth of the views and the channel's only gaining about one sixth of the subscribers each month that it used to be, especially at its high point back in late 2018 and 2019 when it was doing its best. And I know a lot of that comes from the fact that I'm trying to put as many hours as possible as I can in my teacher business. And so as a result, videos have not been as much of a priority. I also have really loved focusing on supporting my course students. I have the live coaching calls with them. And I think it goes back to the whole teaching element. I thrive in that kind of environment and that's my favorite part of it. And having those meaningful connections and working with people at a smaller setting one-on-one -on -one, has been really so fun and so valuable. All this being said, I have decided that I'm going to be taking a much more extended break overall from this channel. It doesn't mean abundantly minimal's over. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be doing videos in the future, but I have to let something go for my schedule. And I think the abundantly minimal YouTube videos is probably the best thing to cut. Uh, in the short term. I know in the past there's been a couple times where I'm like, oh, I'm taking a week off or, um, you know, I'm not going to be uploading this week. And everyone's always like, oh, enjoy the time off, you know, all that. And the thing is, the reason I was doing that was so I could double down and work even harder on my other business. So with that in mind, this is certainly not a break, but with back to school season for teachers, it's a really crucial time to focus as much as we can um, on prepping teachers for back to school. Um, we're actually, there's going to be over 20 videos uploaded in the next two months on the other YouTube channel I run, Mr. and Mrs. Social Studies, specifically with content and tips for back to school for teachers. So it's <laughs> definitely going to be a lot as is. I won't be completely gone. I do already have a couple other things um, during the next three months that are already scheduled um, or will already be happening. I'm speaking at a decluttering and organization conference, a virtual conference in August. So I know there'll be a video where I'm talking about that. August slash September. Registration I think opens for the event in August and then I believe it starts in September. And then I also have um, a sponsored video that I think comes out like next week. Um, and then there will be another one in September. So it won't be completely silent here on the channel, but I just want to give you a heads up of what's to come. I'm very excited to get back into making, making videos for this channel. And there is the stubborn part of me that really doesn't want to do this. It's the fact of not wanting to admit that things have gotten out of control and that I've still got it. I can do it, you know, but that stubborn side then gets me into a hole where the workload is just more than I can handle and something's got to go. So I really appreciate all the support you've given over the years. And again, I am coming back. This is just probably about a three month break with the exception of a couple of those random videos here and there that are already scheduled. This is just, I think, a time where finally, you know, being honest about where things are and prioritizing um, what needs to be prioritized. So again, thank you so much. If you miss my videos, there's hundreds here on the channel. So I'm sure you can find one maybe that you didn't watch before or, uh, you know, something based upon what you're looking for. 
and I'll still be in contact through email and focusing on other aspects, you know, really giving my abundantly minimal time to my course students and none of that's changing. It's just here with the videos on YouTube. So thank you so much for understanding. I do look forward to see you again in future videos, you know, however that timeline plays out. But again, in the meantime, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.